guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. And today we're going to take a look at the crossover category team introduced by our boy Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. Obviously, I would say a very fitting leader. Um, he's going to be a very strong uh, leader for this team, too, because he is a category support type unit for this team. Obviously, works at his best supporting a combination of crossover and grade 8 power category allies, but you know, he's going to work fine for just crossover. Now, this is a category that, unlike a lot of the other categories they've made, I would say they did this one, like, absolutely perfectly. Like, I don't really actually have, like, any complaints whatsoever. Like, they actually did this perfect. Like, all the characters that should be on this category really are on here. Even units I didn't even really foresee them using and doing, like this Dragon Ball Super Bardock right here, this Super Saiyan Bardock, who's really good because he's a stacking unit. He's great against Wicked Bloodline units, right? Mass Saiyan's easy. All the Xenoverse units are on here, which is really, really big because now we could use the Xenoverse units, so, you know, Mass Saiyan, uh, as well as Tektoa right there, and then, of course, the transforming Final Form Mira, who also stacks defense, we can use them alongside the Dragon Ball Hero variants, right? Like Darkness Toa right there. Then we got Demon Goddess Toa. And then, of course, we also have Super Mirror, right? So you could build like a Mirror rotation. You could build a Toa rotation, right? You could build a Bardock rotation. You could even do a, a rotation of Super Saiyan 3 Broly as well as Super Saiyan 4 Broly. Very, very powerful together, right? So this team, because it has such a variety, and like uh, this team is only going to continue to grow, right? Like, there's a lot of units in here who potentially could get Dokkan Fest exclusives or much stronger versions, right? Plus, all Dragon Ball Hero units in the future are going to be added to this. And there's just so much, right? Like, Fu, Toa, all these characters. Like, this here is Super Fu. But, I mean, we very easily... There's, like, the Demon King Fu, and there's, like, all these different versions and stuff like that craziness that's going to come in the future, which is going to be really, really awesome, right? Um, obviously, we have the, like, the, all these Super Saiyan 3s. You know, eventually, there'll be Super Saiyan 3 Vegito and Super Saiyan 3 Gogeta. You know, those types of characters could potentially be added into the game. Super Saiyan 3 Future Gohan exists, right? You know, Golden Metal Cooler is one we'll see. Golden Cooler is really good. Um, you know, he has a just blanket support type ability, 2 key, and 20% attack and defense. Very powerful um, on top of just how strong he is and his uh, infinitely stacking attack. So he can make a very strong sort of like floater unit on this team. Um, in the future, when we'll get maybe like Golden Metal Cooler or some other, you know, sort of like Frieza Clan unit on here, he'll be even better. Now, we do, as of right now, have Chilled on here. Do I even have... I don't even have Super Strike Chilled. Yeah, I don't have Chilled Rainbowed. One of the few units in the game I actually do not have Rainbowed. Chilled is on here. Makes sense since Dragon Ball Super Bardock is. Another really big one that was added that, again, is absolutely huge is this Trunks right here. This Trunks does not exist in anything. This is Android Saga Trunks, basically, in Super Saiyan 2, right? He's not from Heroes. He's not from anything. So I'm glad that they realized, like, oh, we just sort of made this guy up. He's on the crossover team, which is super, super good. Um, all the Arale cards and stuff like that would be on here. Now, again, I only have Tech Arale, but all the Arales would be on there. Um, so I, I don't foresee that we're going to see uh, oh, the Arale is coming back and stuff like that in the future. I will point that out. Uh, Hatchiak is going to be getting an Awakening pretty soon, which is going to be good. Uh, you know, we just have a lot of units in here overall, right? Like, you know, here's this Xenoverse Trunks is in there, right? Like, there's just so much. Um, we potentially could see the Dragon Ball Fusions units. Some of them get EZAs, like Brawpan and Pandel, who could become very good options for, like, the Fusion team after an EZA. And then some older versions of the Fusions units. So, a character such as Celza or... Where is the big one? Weirus. These guys potentially could get um, Dokkan Awakenings in the future, which would be really, really big, right? I mean, again, you give, you know, these guys Dokkan Awakenings, you know, uh, Weirus has a double orb changer. We know how ferocious he can be, right? So the crossover team is only going to continue to grow in power. Um, it's only going to continue to grow in options, too. You could build it full villain. Yeah, well, I, that's the only thing is that... If you do want to do, like, sort of a full villain variant of it, you basically want to run Demon Goddess Toa as leader, but then she's leader of Dragon Ball Heroes, right? That's sort of the thing. So then you can't rock, like, uh, Tech Toa on the mix. So that's one thing. As of right now, there is not even a secondary, like, crossover leader or any... Oh, I think there's, like, Bardock? Yeah, there's Bardock and Demon God Salsa, but... 
Bardock is only 120% because he doesn't Dokkan Awaken, and then Solza, uh, or Solza is only uh, 50%, right? We need, like, a, like a, at least 150% or above villain crossover leader, so we potentially could run a full villain variant of crossover. That is very important, right? Um, and then, of course, the one LR on the category, right? LR, Kid Goku, and Arale. I was very excited to see that they made it on here, so that obviously is very, very cool. Um, but with one LR, that is definitely going to hold the, the overall power level of this category back for now. But, you know, hero heroes LRs in the future is definitely something I think we could see, right? You know, Super Saiyan 3, Gogeta, you know, Great Ape, Golden, Gogeta, shit like that, you know, could potentially be LRs and stuff like that. But this category is only going to continue to get stronger and stronger and stronger um, as time goes on. All right, guys, so we'll go ahead and take a look at the crossover team. Yes, here we go. So here's one of the big rotations. One of the big boy rotations we can rock right, right away is Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, Super Saiyan 4 Broly. Just like grade A power, this is going to work to perfection on crossover, right? Don't forget that Cooler is giving extra attack and defense to the entire team. He's also going to be stacking, and he's also got the, pot the potential to do multiple super attacks um, because of the fact that there is uh, many other Dragon Ball Heroes units on this team, right? So this is now, like, just a ferocious rotation, right? The one cool thing about Crossover, too, is there is so much support, so many good support units, like Supreme of Five Time, Demon Goddess Toa, characters who could heal, characters who improve their defense on Super Attack, characters who debuff the enemy, attack lowering, sealing, you know, uh, um, Tech Toa seals. Like, there's just so much the Crossover team can do so much so it's just very good it's very well done um i i, I just i honestly like like we were all so excited because like wow like they did it perfectly and then you know then dokkan fest bojack's coming out and it's like oh here we go like can they go two for two can they go two in a row but then it's like no like dokkan fest bojack like broly golden freeze are not in the category and it's like what, what the hell are they thinking right here we go again uh for our other rotation we'll do this we'll do bardock and mass saiyan um, both Bardock and Mass Saiyan are defensive stacking units, so we're just going to see them continue to grow in power as we're moving forward. Uh, Vegito, again, don't forget Super Saiyan for Vegito uh, as a floater is going to work very well because, again, he is supporting the entire crossover team that we have right here, right? So all of them universally are going to be getting uh, one key and 20% attack and defense. And then, of course, Vegito to um, crossover slash uh, great power they're going to get uh, two key and 40% uh, attack and defense, which is going to be very, very good. Dude, look at Mass Saiyan. Turn one, 3.2 million. Mass Saiyan's EZA is outrageous on this team because he's stacking and he's lowering attack and stuff like that. Mass Saiyan might look one of the most impressive, like more impressive than like pretty much all these units. Like he's going to look crazy. The boy's going to look insane. Um, Yeah, all right. So we'll just have Broly go and, and we're, we're just moving, right? Like, this, this crossover team potentially could be, like, a pretty good team to use to go for, like, you know, no-item attempts and stuff like that. Maybe in, like, Legendary Goku event or, like, some of these long events and stuff like that. Look at Broly's attack stat, by the way. And then he's double supering because he's with a grade 8 power category unit. And then he potentially could triple super, breaking, like, a 13 million attack stat if that was a super attack right there, right? Like, just absolutely insane, like, the amount of damage that this boy is capable of doing. Um, now he does not have a super, he barely took, look how high his defense is, he barely took any damage right there. This is an infinite Dragon Ball history stage, and that boy took, uh, what was it, 48k? And then guess what? If we would fall below 50% HP, Demon Goddess Toa would then go ahead and heal us up. And then, you know, if she would happen to be on the rotation with Broly, then all of a sudden she's giving, what, like 90% attack and defense? Like, it would just get absurd. And then we just have these, these boys moving forward, right? So Bardock is just going to sit there and stack defense. Mass Saiyan is going to stack defense and attack. Like, you know, the crossover team is not bad. Like, this, this I think, would be a pretty casual no-item run. Like, if I would complete this. I mean, maybe once we got to hit, because hit can uh, mess up your rotations, right? And again, Mass Saiyan is going to put up extraordinary numbers. He is definitely a very good EZA uh, when it comes to going through difficult events. And if you have him linked up with another, like, you know, Saiyan, like another Bardock-type character, like, things are going to get very, very crazy. So, we'll keep going on for a little bit, but the crossover team, I'm just very pleased. Like, I, you know, Dokkan is doing a, a pretty good job with some of this stuff. Like, a lot of us were very hyped for the Heroes collab, and I would say they delivered. Like, honestly, like, 
Super Saiyan 4 Vegito is going to age well. You know, he's a great leader. Brought a good category team. Super Saiyan 4 Broly is also going to, like, age well. Like, he, he's a hard hitter, right? Like, he he's going to carry good. Um, and then this crossover team is only going to continue to get stronger and stronger and stronger um, as time is going on. Because there's so many different characters. Like, it, I don't know if Dokkan and Legends would actually do a collab. But if they did... Right? We, we like Shallot would be in the crossover category, right? And Shallot as a Saiyan would probably, presumably, work fairly well uh, with like, you know, a, a lot of these Bardock characters and stuff like that. So, I mean, we only would see more units be added to like this category that would just mesh very well with it. And it's like, what version of Shallot would even come, right? Would we be getting like some sort of god version? You know, would we get Super Saiyan 3? Like, you know, Shallot potentially could be a buff to so many different teams, right? Like, we need a Super Saiyan 3 buff, right? We need, uh, like, you know, a, a, well, we don't need a Realm of Gods buff, but we could use another Great Ape power unit if, you know, Shallot ever wants to go Great Ape in Legends, or if he ever wants to go Super Saiyan 4 or something like that. Certainly could be good. Um, all right, I think what we'll do, I'll probably, I don't feel like we need to go on too much longer. Like, look how dominant this team is. Like, we're not really going to take any damage or anything like that. Uh, I do want to use Bardock's active skill before we finish up, though. The Super Saiyan Bardock. I absolutely adore that Bardock. It's just, for whatever reason, I just find myself, like, never using him. Like, I, I don't know. I, I guess, like, a lot of the different challenge runs and certain events I want to do, like, no item and stuff like that. Like, Bardock just ends up never being on the team. But, um, that's okay, right? Like, we'll... Uh, we, we, you know, as time goes on, we're going to get more events where, oh, no super attack counter. Okay, Vegito. <laughs> Come on, man. This guy never wants to super attack counter ever, this damn Vegito. Like, please, Vegito. <laughs> All right, so yeah, let, let's use this active skill with Bardock and how outrageous he can be. Like, look how fast we're flying through this event, right? So what defensive stats do we got here? Both of them over 200k. I mean, don't forget... Again, this Bardock is a Dokkan Fest exclusive character. Like, he's on that tier level of power. Um, obviously, he's way better against extreme class enemies once he's transformed. You know, we're just going up against Kale right here, who's super class. Um, but, like, once we get to hit, like, this Bardock would be insane. You know, he has so much, like, like damage reduction and dodge chance and crit and super effective against all types. Like, Bardock does a huge amount of stuff, right? And then, obviously, Mass Saiyan, like, he's only going to continue to get stronger and stronger and stronger. Kale probably wouldn't even really do that much damage, even if she did super attack. So, the crossover category team, very well done. Very, very fun to use. Um, let me know what you guys think of all these characters on the crossover team and stuff like that. Um, what characters you'd like to see in the future. Maybe like a, a Dokkan Fest standalone, a transformed Android 21. Maybe like a, a Trenchcoat 21 that transforms. Uh, you know, there's a lot of different versions um, of characters, you know, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. Don't forget that there's, like, the Super Saiyan 3 GT Vegeta and then the other Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta that, uh, do not Dokkan Awaken yet. They're just SSRs. You know, they'll get their Dokkan Awakenings and they're gonna be very good in the future, right? So we have a lot of units who are gonna be added to this team who are just gonna continue to dramatically increase the power level of this team. So, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito is leading a hell of a team right here. Again, let me know what you guys think of the crossover team. I think it's outstanding. I think it's super powerful. I think a lot of these units are going to mesh very well together. And because of the variety on the category, you can build it all different types of ways. And they're only going to add, like, all these different Demon God characters. And, you know, Super Saiyan Bardocks are going to get easy A's. And, you know, like, the Super Saiyan 2 Bardock. You know, there's just so much stuff that's going to be added in the future. The sky is the limit for this crossover category, right? All the ridiculousness. Cell X. Again, Golden Great Ape Gogeta, like Majin Garlic Jr., Majin Super Saiyan 3 Broly, right? Like all this insanity that, that exists is all going to be added to this category team. So uh, it's going to be very exciting for the future. So let me know what you guys think again. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.